Hey, good morning, good morning. So I thought I would come in just briefly and share some of what my morning looks like, my morning ritual. You can see I got the little button so you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me. The last time I tried to do this, there was this weird feedback. Anyway, um, so good morning. Fresh face, hair not combed yet. I've barely brushed my teeth. Not really a morning person, but I get up every morning and I try to do, um, I try to do something for my day. And one of the things that I definitely try to do is a gratitude list. Things that I'm that I'm grateful for in my day. Now, some people write things that they're, you know, totally grateful for, like my family, my home, and those things are really important. So half my list is dedicated to just the the things that I'm grateful for in real time that are happening right now. But the other half of my journal, my gratitude list, excuse me, because uh, it's not my journal, it's my gratitude list, is being grateful for things that are coming and being really excited about that gratitude, really feeling the feeling that I have those things already. And then when they get here, I'm so excited because I've been feeling the joy of that for so long. So it's important to have some future focus, at least for me, some future focus in my journals, in my morning as well, some present and some future. What I don't really to spend a lot of time on is looking at the past because I've already lived that and it's time to take those lessons and move on. So I do my gratitude list, 10 things that I'm grateful for. I usually try to write them down. Some mornings I'm running late, and so I take the time in the shower to do them, but I make sure that I bring my body to a state of gratitude and a state of grace in that gratitude that allows me to move on. So then I also have two other journals. One is always an affirmation journal. This time it looks like this one. It's a very pretty pink cover. If you don't know me, I love the color pink. And so I found one, a really pretty pink one, and it's where I talk about how great I am. I mean, come on, everybody. If you don't talk about how great you are, nobody else is going to talk about how great you are. So you might as well be talking about how great you are. So I got this one that says, I totally got this. And I love the little saying on the cover, so I got it. I'm that cheesy person in Target that buys those journals. That's me. Um, and thank you, Target, for having these amazing journals because I always love them. And then inside are just guided things for the day. And I write about the things that, are, that I'm prompted or I write about the things <clears throat> that, I, that speak to me. But... Either way, it guides me through a page, at least a page, of affirmation. And then, if I need to, this one I may do in the morning or at night, but I thought I would talk about it anyway. Uh, this is my deep thought journal. This is, it, this one says, every day I'm hustling this time. It, it, it doesn't matter what the cover is. The point is, is that every day I write whatever I need to write. And you can see, I, I write. Sometimes I doodle, sometimes I draw, but I make myself sit down and I find the center place of me that has something to say. And sometimes it's something that it's really important that I need to just write until I hear it because the conscious mind is so full of chatter all the time that the only time that sometimes my subconscious can get a word in edgewise is to journal. I don't remember my dreams like everyone else does and I know that that's a way that some people can hear what their subconscious mind is trying to say. I don't remember my dreams very much, but what I do when I write is I seem to go into that liminal space between here and there and it gets quiet and I think it's because I've been journaling literally since I was probably 14 um, I've always been writing and figuring things out through the page on the page through the word with the words and so those are my three journals and this is part of the morning and afternoon ritual and you know I'll do a lot of things during the day and I'll forget to do a lot of things during the day but what I won't forget to do is be grateful for what I have, grateful for what's coming, and totally tell myself that I'm amazing. Because again, if you don't want to tell yourself that you're amazing, you're going to find that not very many people think are going to tell you for you. So um, I've been on this journey uh, for a long time. And one of the things that I'm learning as I build my podcast audience, which if you haven't liked and subscribed and listened, please, uh, please do. We're on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Play, um, Google Play. Apple Podcasts, um, Anchor, but if you haven't listened to So You're Getting Divorced because you're not getting a divorce, you're like, that doesn't really apply to me. It's a relationship journal in real time, in podcast form. It's the relationship journal, and, and the, it's the things that I've been journaling about for years in terms of the relationships that I've been through because I have been married and divorced, and it's also from years of teaching this information and, and talking to, to the people in my world about their relationships, and so it's really about transforming your life. I like to say that it's about finding peace, you know, P-E-A-C-E, -E, in the broken pieces. And being able to say that I walked away, I, I, I pulled those pieces and I found my peace and I moved on. 
that's what my journaling has allowed me to do over the years is find the piece in the broken pieces string those things together into something better and then move on so if you've got a morning ritual what do you do how do you set your intention how do you set your morning and set your day and bring yourself back to yourself let me know and if you're not listening to the podcast yet yep please do give us a like and subscribe that'd be great take care everyone bye